Okay, so let's look at uh, this guy right here. What if I've got one third log base five, twelve x equals two? So the the goal is to solve for x. Like that's what we want to do. Solve for x. So the easiest thing to do is to get the logarithm by itself. So get this guy right here by itself. And in order to do that, we're going to multiply both sides by a 3. Okay? When I multiply both sides by a 3, what I end up with is log base 5, 12x equals 6. So that's not too bad. Okay? And remember that if you have a log base b of y equals x, that's the same thing as b to the x equals y. A logarithm is equal to its exponent. So this guy is going to be 5 to the 6th equals 12x. So you just need to punch in what 5 to the 6th is on your calculator. 15,625. And then how do you get x all by itself? You divide by 12. Whatever number you get, you need to make sure that you show it to three decimal places. And with logarithms, four decimal places is usually really nice because logarithms and stuff like that, they, they just change so slowly. So um, what I got for this guy, when I punch it in, is... 1302.08 and uh, let me tell my calculator to show a few more decimal places here. Um, Sorry about the pause. So 833 repeating, 0 0.0833. So this part is probably what you need to see. That's what I would like to see uh, when you're doing your math. Okay. Um, number six then real quick. Looks like log, log base 2x plus log base 2 of x minus 2 equals 3. So on this guy, you've got to condense the logs together. And remember, if there's a plus sign in between the logarithms, then you multiply those interior items. And what I end up with is a log of x times x minus 2 equals 3, which is log of x squared minus 2x equals 3. Now, here's the deal. These are all base 2's. And a logarithm is equal to its exponent, right? So what I've got is 2 cubed equals x squared minus 2x. So how do I solve this guy out? It's going to be a quadratic equation, right? And since it's a quadratic equation, I've got 8 equals x squared minus 2x. And so to, f to finish this guy out, I'm going to move the 8 over. So we're going to take this 8 and move it over to the other side. And I'm going to have an equation that looks like x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. And now... I solve for x, but I have to get to this point first. And so I solve for x by factoring, and this is going to end up being x minus 4, x plus 2. And then set each piece equal to 0. And so you end up with x equals 4, x equals negative 2, right? Well, these are your answers. However, because we're dealing with logarithms, you have to check your answer. The reason you have to check your answer is because you cannot take a log 
of a negative number. Like it won't, it can't happen. Anything equal to zero or less than zero, you cannot have a natural lo a log of any type for. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this four right here. We're going to take this four right here, and we're going to drop him in here, and we're going to drop him in there, and we're going to make sure we're going to make sure that we have positive logarithms. And when you do that, when you do that really quick check, you have a log base two of four plus log base 2 of 4 minus 2. And can you tell that that's going to work? Everything's going to be positive, right? So 4 is good. This one's okay. We'll put a smiley face because he's all right. Now, check the blue, check the other one. Okay, check negative 2. And you've got to take the same exact steps. Log base 2 of negative 2 plus log base 2 of negative 2 minus 2. Okay, this is not going to work because we've got negatives all over the place. So on our check, this guy right here is no deal. Okay, and so that's how you solve out some of these logarithmic equations. Get Condense the logs down into one logarithm, then get the logarithm by itself, and then change it into an exponential. Okay. So well, let's start with this log right here. Uh, this is actually going to be question four. So I have 5.2 log base four of 2x equals 16. Okay. And so in order to get this thing solved out correctly, what you're going to want to do is get the log isolated so that it's all by itself. And so when you do that, just divide both sides by 5.2. it'll be a lot easier uh, on you uh, if you can get that log all alone. You don't necessarily need to. You can take that 5.2 and put it up in the exponent, but there's a lot of mistakes that can happen when you do that because that 5.2 has to go to 2 and x. And so what ends up happening, the mistake that's made is you only put it on the x. So just divide it on both sides to get rid of it. And when you do that, you get 3.07. So this is going to be log log 4 2x uh, equals 3.0 uh, 769. When you're working with logarithms, always carry through at least three decimal places, and you usually want to go with four. Three because it's a pre-AP class, and that's where you get graded when you take your AP exam. Okay, logarithms though grow so slowly that usually you want to go through four decimal places. It just gives you a more accurate answer. Once you get here, um, then what you can do is uh, go ahead and rewrite the logarithm in exponential form. And all that means is you're going to take the base of the log right here, the 4. And remember, a logarithm is equal to its exponent. A logarithm is equal to its exponent. So the base of my logarithm is 4. The exponent is 3.0769. And what does that equal? 2x. Okay, so how do you get the 2? How do you get the x all by itself? Divide both sides by 2. Don't leave your answer like this. I don't know what th 4 to the 3.0769 power is. Like, I don't know what that is. So go ahead and give me a decimal answer for this value of x. And uh, when you punch that into your calculator, you get, uh, let's see here, four to the I got thirty five point six zero one. And that should be about right. Remember that 4 to the third power is 64. And so when you divide 64 in half, you're going to have 32. And we're a little bit bigger than that. So that's, that's the first guy. All right. The second guy. Let's look down at um, question 8. Negative 7 minus 9. 
and ln, not in, ln equals negative 34. Now, one of the things that we have to be aware of is that you cannot have inside the logarithm a negative number. Okay, it's not going to happen. But your logarithm can equal a negative number. That's totally uh, a thing that could occur. Um, in this case, though, we want to follow the same exact steps that we d took from a minute ago from on the previous problem. And let's isolate the logarithm and get it all by itself. So when we do that, we're going to have negative 9 natural log x. Okay, I can make that change. So this will be 34. Uh, and then minus 28, 27. Okay. And then divide both sides by the negative 9. When you do that, you're going to get the natural log of x equals 3. And this is this is okay, but now solve it out. Well, one of the things that we've got to remember is that a log base e, a log base e is a natural log. So if I have a log base e, I have a natural log. That's what I've got on this problem. So when I change this to exponential form, it's going to be e cubed equals x. And Usually, with e, you just leave it as like e cubed or e to the fourth or fifth or whatever power because e grows so quickly that by the time you're like at e to the fifth power, it's a huge ginormous number. So you can leave it as e cubed and, and that'll work. Okay. And then the last example I wanted to show you um, is, is number nine. And so this is going to look like log base four of two to the x squared minus log base 4, 8, and it equals negative 2. And so here's the deal. Working on this guy, um, remember that if you have a negative sign in between two logarithms, then you're going to divide what's inside those logarithms. And so you're not really working with 2x squared minus 8. You're working with log base 4 of 2x squared over 8 equals negative 2. And you can set this up however you want to. If you want to simplify in there first, that's fine. It will make your life a little bit easier if you go ahead and do that. So that's going to actually be x squared over 4 equals negative 2. Okay. Now rewrite this thing in exponential form. And remember, a logarithm is equal to its exponent. So the base on this guy is 4, and when I rewrite it, it's going to be 4 to the negative 2 equals x squared over 4. Okay, this is how it's going to be rewritten. And, and now we can solve for x squared. It's not a problem at all. It's not a problem at all. So this is going to be 1 over 16, right? Remember, 4 to the negative 2 is 1 over 4 squared. And then multiply both sides by 4. And that's going to give you 1 fourth equals x squared. Now, take a square root. And when you take a square root of both sides, don't forget you're going to get plus or minus in front of the square root. Okay? And this is where it can be a little confusing. Pay attention to what you're doing. So x is going to be equal to plus or minus 1 half. Well, you need to check your answer in the original equation and make sure it's going to work. They may both work. They may neither one work. And they may have just one work. So check in that original equation right here. And I think they're going to both be OK. Because when I check the log base 4 of 2 times the positive one half squared. Does that give me a positive logarithm? Okay, so I'm going to have two times positive one fourth, right? So log base four of two times one fourth. So he's o he's okay. Check the next guy, and that's going to be a log base four of two times negative one half squared. And that one's going to be what? Same thing. So both of these guys have answers uh, that work.
Okay. And that's your process uh, that you're going to go through to solve to solve these logarithms out.